What's good YouTube? My name is Matt Pal and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be opening up some of the new Anchor products that I bought. Let's get right on into it. The first one on the list is the Anchor 522 Portable Power Station. This is part of their Anchor Solix line. With this you get 6 times longer lifespan, you can charge a MacBook Air at least 5 times, and you can charge 6 devices simultaneously. This power station is rated at 300 watts, 299 watt hours. They give you a 5 year warranty and a 10 year lifespan. Now let's open this up. Alright. So off the rip, you can see we got the user manual, this box, probably filled with some wires. Let's see what we got. We got some cables, power brick, and a car socket charger. Here's that AC adapter, car charger, power brick. And now for the main device. It's a lot lighter than I expected. I really like this handle right here. You got the logo right on top. It's all strong plastic. On the bottom, you get these rubberized feet. The vent on the left side, vent on the right side. And you got the flashlight here. Car socket. One USB-C, two USB-C, USB-A display button don't know what this is this is probably to turn this guy on power saving switch and button to turn on your AC power let's remove that no let's see what do we got in the back all right so your DC in goes in the back here it says recharge your power station to activate it before using it for the first time let's go ahead and do that right now now that we got this hooked up Let's let this charge and open up our next item. Oh, and before we even get to this, the price for the power station is 269 bucks on Amazon. The next Anchor product we got is the Anchor Prime 27,650 milliamp hour power bank with 250 watts and with a 100 watt charging base. This one's going to be a great addition to my desk setup with two USB-Cs and one USB-A with 250 watts of total output. What's great about this specifically is its portability. Now let's take a look. Here we got the main unit, put to the side, we got a wire in this box, USB-C cable, and on the other side, ooh, wow, this is the softest pouch I think I've ever felt. Wow, this feels so nice, high quality. Here's the charging base. What do we got in here? This is the AC cable. And on the bottom, we got the paperwork. So in this bundle of paperwork, you get an adhesive tape to tape down the charging base to your desk so it doesn't move. You got this quick start guide, warranty info, another quick start guide for the dock. Now let's open up the base. It's a solid brick right here. This feels pretty premium to me. It's got a good weight to it as well. And for the main unit. That's nice. Definitely feels higher quality than the power station we unboxed earlier. Got the port here to attach. Kind of looks like the back of the iPad connector port and it's magnetized that's sick it's a pretty strong magnet let me quickly set this up on my desk plug it in and start it up i found a spot right in front of my pc here let me plug it in so you guys can see how it starts up Is this already scuffed up? Did I get a bad piece? I don't know if you can tell on camera, but this thing's already scratched. What the hell? Hopefully yours doesn't come scratched up like that. Well, I don't know if you have to specifically put this cable in a specific way, but that way wasn't working. Let's try the opposite way. Okay, so 
now it's working. You can see that bubble and it's gone now. What is going on here, guys? Yep, that's a scuffed mark. I'm gonna have to replace this, but it's also not even charging. I saw that little circle there for a second. And now it's just not appearing. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I plug it in all the way and it doesn't work. But when I slightly plug it in, the circle comes up. Let's do it again. This shouldn't be that complicated. I don't know what's going on here. All right, let me figure this out real quick. Yeah, I think I have a broken unit. Well, looks like we're gonna have to have it replaced. Good news, guys. I finally ended up making it work. So I think what happened was the power bank itself was completely dead. So this charging stand wasn't activating necessarily, but I think in the background, it was charging it. I mean, I think that's the case because I ended up charging it using a USB-C port and it gave it maybe like 0.1% of power after placing it onto the dock now. You can see, let's see, it says 5%. So maybe it wasn't displaying anything because there was not enough power to make it display anything. So I guess now this is how it's supposed to look. And let's see how long it takes. All right, so I think it should be fully charged now. Let's see. Let's enable Bluetooth. Double click. All right, so you got the app for Anchor. We found it. Let's click on it. All right, name it what you'd like. Update it. Okay, so it can't be updated while on the charger, so take it off and update. All right, now it's waiting for it to restart. Update successful. Now on this page, we can see it's at 100% right now. It says USB-C 1, USB-C 2, and then the USB-A. When you plug in something to these ports, it'll show you how much voltage and amps are going through it with the total wattage at the end. Over here, we can read the real-time data with the temperature, some usage data, controls, number of charges available. And down here, it says find device. All right, and then on the top right, you go to settings, you go to device screen, set the theme doesn't really matter number of charges available that's the same thing what we saw earlier with the control optimize charging we do want to optimize the recharging optimize charging screen brightness we'll put it max brightness screen timeout in 30 seconds 30 seconds sounds good Let's see port status auto bluetooth discovery find device here we got the device name battery health, and then followed by all this extra stuff. You can go ahead and update the firmware on this page too. So I think that's it for the app. Yeah, so I also have my cooler over here and I actually have to add one more thing that I didn't add yet, but we'll go ahead and add that device as soon as we finish reviewing this and our previous power station. Okay, so here it is fully charged, turn it on, double tap. Here's the screen, remaining hours, 99 hours and 59 minutes. So about a hundred hours, you got your amps. So let's plug something in. Let's go and charge my phone. All right, so I have my phone here. Let's plug it in to C1. All right, so phone's charging. On the app, it says remaining four hours for it to be done. Well, it's actually calculating, so we'll give it a sec. C1, it says 26 watts being outputted, nine volts, 2.9 amps. Battery still at 100%, total output 26.1. Temperature 28 degrees and on the device itself. All right, it says configuration 100%. Whatever you saw in the app earlier, it's the same thing. Screen timeout, press twice to switch. We don't need to do that. All right, so the main screen here, you see three hours, 33 minutes remaining. C126, everything you saw in the app, you can see right on the device itself. When this is charging like this, it won't output anything to your external devices. You can't charge both at the same time. But what you can do, unplug it and connect it to the side right here. And now it's charging. Pretty cool, very simple. All right guys, so the new one came in. It's basically a few days later. And the difference between the old one and the new packaging is this one has this little sticker here. And if you would read it closely, it says, when the power bank is fully depleted, the screen is inactive, the base charging will automatically shut off, okay? Please recharge via USB-C port first to restore base charging functionality. This sticker was clearly not anywhere in the old packaging. You see that? That would have saved me so much 
damn time. It's actually such a good thing now that we know it was meant to happen and we didn't have a faulty unit. Maybe for that scratch, but that doesn't matter anymore. We got this new one and hopefully this one is free of scratches. Let's open it up. Now that we got this power station finally charged, let's turn it on. All right, so here's that ambient light. You see the LCD screen just turned on. It says 100%. You turn the display on or off. Here's that car socket button. This is to turn it on or off. Right now it's on, indicated by the light right there. Click it once to turn off. Click it once to turn on. On the right side, you got the AC power. That's on by the light. Turn it off as well. With power savings turned on, if any device is being charged currently, once it's done fully charged, it'll turn off the device. So it'll save some power like that. Right now the LCD screen kind of just turned off right there. Just click this button to turn it back on a little bit. Now let's go ahead and charge my iPhone. Okay, so it just turned on. And if you look closely, it says 27 watts on the left side with the battery indicator. It says output on this right side over here. It says 90 minutes remaining for it to charge to 100%. So right now, my battery is at 20%. On the top left, you can see the indicator for the power saving. Switch it off. The indicator goes out. Keep that on. On the top middle here, you can see a symbol for the USB-C being used. Let's take it out. And it goes away. This ambulance is pretty decent if you need some extra lighting wherever you are. And if we look right here, we'll see the indicators for each outlet so first one is the power saving mode second one is the high temperature alert this one right here is a low temperature alert so whenever these pop up over here you want to stop using the device here's that usb-c indicator followed by the usb-a indicator over here is the ambient light and finally the ac outlet but yeah that's pretty much it for this very straightforward oh yeah i almost forgot to mention hold this button down for two seconds and you'll enter sos mode just in case. And now we'll finally take a look at our final product. And now guys, here is the final product. This is the Anchor 767 Portable Power Station. This is the bigger version of what we first opened up today. So this powerhouse gives you 2048 watt hours and 2400 watts. That's a lot of power, all right? This thing is a beast. This thing will power up anything you would want in case of those extreme situations where you don't have power. This will save you guys. Let's get right on into this and see what we're dealing with. This has the fast charging via leading technology. Got a five year hassle free warranty. You can fully charge the powerhouse through AC charging, solar panels, or through your car. So this is perfect for any type of situation. Now, you can charge your devices with the RV outlet. For those of you that like to go on road trips, USB-C, USB-A, and the car outlet. And here it is. So before we even take a look at this thing, let's take a look at the accessory pouch. So what we get here are some cables. You got the main AC power right here, car outlet right there and the last cable is an adapter for solar charging you can charge multiple devices and of course we got the manual what we got here are a good amount of outlets so you got four ac outlets the big outlet right here this is to turn it on or off you got 100 percent there with the lcd screen let's remove this at the display button turn it on or off this is the ambient light hold it down two seconds or sos mode now here's the bluetooth button let's turn that on And now let's connect it. So while that finds the app, just like before, we wait and there it is. Let it connect. Okay, anyways, while that happens, we got more car sockets here. This is to turn it on or off. Indicated by the icons down there. And here are your DC outputs. Three USB-C and two USB-A. Pretty nice. You got so much to work with. Anyways, let's turn on all of this so you can see all these indicator lights turn on. Name your device done and like before you're gonna get all the information on this page you got power saving mode turned on so we'll leave it at that your input for your DC input and your AC input output AC output car port USB ports your control you can turn power saving on or off from here as well we'll keep that on and here's the brightness one two and three pretty nice but that's pretty much it for the app of course you got your settings you got your function settings here you could change how much for the AC recharging power, your light SOS toggle it on or off, right? Screen brightness, I like to keep it at max so we know what we're doing. Screen timeout, keep it at 30 seconds. Device name, keep it Fahrenheit for temperature and firmware update. Let's update that right now. While we wait for that, there's so much to work with. What's wonderful about this, it's got some strong wheels over there and you get an easy tow away handle. You see here, it's got a briefcase to it. it makes it easy for mobility portability and it's just a nice way to store it as well while we wait for the update let's turn this thing around over here you can see there's a vent 
another vent down here and on the back this is where you're going to get your solar car input the overcharge protection and your ac input in the middle right here is your overload protection button if it's overloaded indicated by the light in the front i'll show you right here this is the overload indicator followed by the too hot or too cold indicators and lastly on the back here is the extension port or another battery pack if you have another extension battery you connect it it doesn't really come with one of those adapters but i'm assuming if you buy the extension pack the adapter will come with it but that about wraps it up for that let's turn this back around and now here are all three devices that we've unboxed today which one is your favorite let me know in the comments down below i think personally my favorite is portable charger with the dock the other two are for just in case situations you never know when you're gonna need them and now that concludes today's unboxing video thanks again for watching don't forget to like subscribe and hit that noti bell to know when i upload and remember guys i'm doing a giveaway right now where three of you will be able to win the prize is twenty dollars of your choice whether it's in bitcoin gift cards paypal transactions just let me know but remember this channel needs to hit 2,000 subs before any of that can happen so help me out and let's do this together thanks again peace